Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Sips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this drawing and is having trouble tracing it. They're going to use it for a piece of furniture. And let me get rid of that right there. I've already been playing around with the drawing imports pretty, pretty close to correct. I mean, but this is untraceable because it's such a, it's basically a JPEG. So let's try to measure it with the parallel dimension tool from there to there. And we get 1.73, which is one and three quarter almost. So I've already done it and I'm happy with it. Uh, exactly the way it's supposed to be. So let's try this. I'm going to just resample it to 300 dots per inch, which I've already done. But I'm not going to trace it. I'm not going to bitmap it because a lot of times uh, that just takes away from your drawing. Let's just do it real quick. Let's turn it into a, convert it to a black and white bitmap. And as you can see, well, that time it looks pretty good. But it, further away you get it, it's kind of, takes away some of the stuff. So let's take that away and let's just trace the bitmap. And this time I'm gonna use outline trace, but I'm gonna use line art because it's mainly lines. Reduce bitmap, that's okay. And I did notice one thing that normally doesn't happen. Normally your trace copy is on the top. This time it's on the bottom. Well, no, this time it's on the top. So you can see the, the original is just a bitmap layer where your trace version is a group of 13 items. The best way I know how to do this is just take the Smart Fill tool and fill it in. And there's your shape, but it's not perfect. Uh, first of all, it's supposed to be 23 and 5 eighths inches long. So let's left click, right click. And this would be, to me, close enough, but if you wanted it dead on, let's measure the parallel dimension tool. And now you can go from node to node, but we only get 1.68. So we need to make this bigger. And also this line isn't perfectly perpendicular. The best way to do this for me to do it is that you've got a pretty good curve on the outside. Let's take the shape tool and let's select that one and right click and break it apart. Now the one you can move out of the way is always the opposite, I think, is this one right here. Go right here and break apart by right clicking. And this is the one we need to take away. Now we can actually take the virtual segment delete key and delete that. And at this time you could clean this up a little bit, but I don't know the exact shape of this. And like you can take out notes like that and it should not matter because they're on a straight line. But I'm not going to mess with it too much because I don't know what he's really building. So now we've got a pretty good straight line. We're going to go up to effects and contour. We're going to contour to the outside with a curved line, 1.75. Now we're going to use the inside because it looks closer than the other than what we originally had. I'm going to take the parallel. No, I'm not going to take a two-point line. And I'm going to go from that node and start moving it down and hold down the control button. I'm going to take this node and start moving it and hold down the control button. Now we can take away all this extra stuff. I need to, whenever you can't cut a line, it's because you haven't broken the curve apart or the, the, the contour apart. And then all you have to do is fill that in with the Smart Fill tool. And there's you a pattern to cut out. Now it is, it's not, still not perfect, perfect, because it needs to be 23.625. So with this lock, we're gonna just type in 23.625. Now it's to the right length, let's check our 1.75. Parallel dimension tool from that node to that node and we're 1.75. So that's how I would do it. It looks oddly not at a right angle here. Um, and I don't know, because I use the uh, control button to hold that down. Let's just look at it, uh, bring in an indexing line sometimes and it may be just an optical illusion because it's pretty much dead on. 
Anyway, that's how I would do it. Hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.